I have this simple link sensor tag for a while and even though I had the debugger here I've never been able to check it with uh, a smartphone app uh, because I didn't have a smartphone that was compatible with the app that comes with the sensor tag but now thanks to my employer I have a decent smartphone and I have an application that works so I can connect to the sensor tag it does uh, find all the services on, on the sensor tag and it shows the data so you can see here that in my lab it's 20 degrees and we're talking about humidity of uh, 60% uh, what I want to try to do now is to see if when I connect the debugger to the sensor tag and load the source into Code Composer Studio if I can find a nice breakpoint to put and to step through the code once uh, there is communication between the smart app and the sensor tag. And there are many things that we can detect and that we can debug on like light and movement and uh, the, the pressure of the air, although pressure of the air doesn't change that much. So that doesn't make for that interesting uh, debugging but I think I'm going to start with a simple thing and that's the buttons on the side of the tag so there are two buttons each on one side and you can see here on the app that when I press them that is detected and I want to tap into the source code on the sensor tag that sends the Bluetooth low energy signal uh, to the app I have loaded the projects for the sensor tag into Code Compose Studio and um, they are available in the installation. If you do a software installation of the packages of the sensor tag, you automatically get uh, the stack and the application uh, for, your, for your sensor tag, the one that talks to your smartphone. I have also got a smartphone here ready to detect uh, the sensor tag and to see what's happening on screen when we step through the code. But there's one thing you have to do before you can really successfully uh, scroll through your or step through your code and that is change the debug, the optimization. You cannot change it for the, the, the stack, for the technology stack, because there is not enough memory at this moment in the sensor tag to uh, have a fully debug configured uh, uh, stack there. But the application itself, you can change the, uh, the optimization uh, by setting the, the, the compiler options for optimization. I have set them to off so that I don't have odd uh, odd artifacts when stepping through the code. If you don't do that, you often see that the breakpoints don't actually stop where they should stop, or that if you step through a line, it doesn't really go through that line. So the code is then fooling the debugger. So put it to zero for the application if you want to debug. I have set the breakpoint on the read attribute uh, function for one of the sensors, for the temperature sensor. And we are soon going to start our application. It's going to run just like that, so it's going to register. I can connect to it from the app, but you'll see that once we start reading the attributes, our Code Composer project will stop, and also the app doesn't get upgraded or updated unless we uh, proceed with the code. So I'm now going to start my program first. Everything is tied up, the debugger is connected, and my Code Composer Studio is in uh, wait mode, so I can now Put the breakpoints there and start debugging the program. I'm going to execute the program and you'll see that it will not break at any breakpoint. It's just going to run. We will be able to find the sensor tag here, but once I connect and it is going to connect to the application here to get the temperature, you'll see that our code breaks. And also in the app you will see that we don't get updates here. Only when I play my program we will get new values on the, on the screen. So here the infrared uh, temperature date, what data, once I do play, we'll get a new value. And that every time you see that I can break and pause uh, the sensor tax firmware while we're looking at it uh, on the smartphone. And that is what I wanted to show here. That is that you can actually connect the two up together and that you can debug through the code and understand what's happening.